Yeah, thank you for joining, and it will be a very brief introduction to OpenScan Hub. So, let's set expectations. So, I'll mostly talk about how to use this service. Uh, I'll keep this talk very simple. I will not go into the depth of static analysis, and I'll take questions at the end. Uh, my name is Siteshwar. I'm a package manager in the RHEL group at Red Hat. Uh, I've been involved in a number of projects in the past, and currently I'm one of the active contributors in the OpenScan Hub project. So what is OpenScan Hub? OpenScan Hub is a service. It can do static and dynamic analysis, but I'll mostly talk about static analysis in this talk. And it's open source, it's licensed under GPL. It's not limited to any specific programming language. It can, it can scan any type of code. <coughs> And the scanning of RPM packages is fully automated. You just give it this RPM, and it will automatically do the build and give you the results. You don't need to specify the how to build build the SRPM. And one of the key features of OpenScan Hub is the ability to do differential scans. I'll talk more about differential scan, scans later in this talk. And it's extensible. I will not go into the details of this. And and it has the ability to collect all the reports at a single place, so that's a hub. And there's a famous acronym for this service. The famous acronym is SAST, Static Application Security Testing. But it can also find known security issues. That may be real bugs, but may not be a security issue. And so how does it work? What's the core idea? The core idea is, is deployed publicly. The user requests for a scan, the service uh, run different anal analyzers uh, on the source code, stores the results, and give the results back to the user. And that's how it looked. That's how it looks. Uh, that's the home page of the service. Uh, it's deployed on the Fedora infrastructure. Uh, you can access it by going to openscanhub.fedoraproject.org. Uh, you don't need a Fedora account to access the service. You only need it to submit a scan. So how to submit a scan? And the easiest way to submit a scan is to uh, use the scan submission form. That is, you go to this link, you submit the NVR of the package. Uh, it will download, download the package from the Koji. And mock build is more of a RPM terminology. It means perform a full scan. And you can, profile, uh, you can spe specify the build route. Like in this example, it's Fedora 39. Uh, and if the scan is successful, you will see something like this. You will see a list of findings from different analyzers. So in this case, you can see the, uh, the findings from GCC anal analyzer, or CPP check. There are also some others. There are also a GCC compiler warning. So that's how the results look in HTML format. But we also support other formats than HTML. So the primarily we support HTML, text, JSON, uh, by default, we don't produce serif fi uh, files, but we also support serif. Uh, so how to get results in serif format? You have to download the, the file from OpenScan Hub in JSON format, and then you can use the csgrep utility and you give it hyphen hyphen mode serif and give the input file, and it will give, give you the results in serif format. Uh, but people prefer to use CLI, so how to use it from the CLI interface. So <clears throat> the command line tool that is used to perform scans, uh, submit scans, is known, is called OSS CLI. And it's an, it became an official Fedora package a couple of months ago. So you can download it from the uh, Fedora repositories. You can just do dnf install hyphen y OSS CLI. And it will download, it will install the command line client. And the instructions to use this service are given on the Fedora Wiki, the link at the bottom of the slide. And so next question is how, how to use the CLI. So you can see again, I'm using the mock build option. It means perform a full scan, give it a build root, Fedora 39, and specify the NVR of the package. In this case, it's units package. And it will perform a full scan of the package. And you will, again, get results something like that. Oh. And so one of the key features of OpenScan Hub is the ability to do differential scan. So what is a differential scan? So imagine 
you have a newer version of a package and there's an old, old version. So you can do a differential scan and you can only get defects or findings for the newer version. How does it work? Let me explain. So imagine you have an old version of package which has three findings from static analyzers. And then a new version of package introduces finding four and finding five. So when you perform a scan, you will get a result which will look something like this. The first three findings will be skipped and you will only get finding four and finding five. And so, and there are two different types of differential scans. Let me talk about the first one. The first one is between versions, different versions of the package. Uh, so the command that is, the sub command is ver called version div build and you can specify the build route the NVR of the package you want to target, and the base, base, SR, uh, the base, target, uh, the base build. Uh, that will be the older version of the package. And this feature is especially spe useful for legacy code bases, because legacy code bases have, have a long history. And when there is a new version of a legacy code base, there's a high possibility that new defects may be introduced in that. So if you pr perform a, a differential scan, you can only focus on the new defects. And if the scan is successful, you will see something like this. Uh, you can see it in the title, new, newly introduced findings. And you can see different findings. So in this case, uh, there was a real finding, there was a real bug introduced in the scan that I submitted. And the bug was here in the Clang warning. It was reported upstream to the XOR maintainers. More specifically, it was Oliver Fordun. It was reported to Oliver and then it was fixed. So Oliver went through the report, and then he realized it may be a real bug. And you, you can see it in the commit message. There is a mention of the SAS, SASC tool. So the SAS, SASC tool was open scan hub. Uh, and the other way to do differential scan is with the downstream patches. And this feature is targeted towards uh, downstream package maintainers. So there are, there are always some lots of downstream patches in uh, certain packages. So when you do a uh, div build, like div build means do a uh, differential build, build with the downstream patches. And then you can only, the package maintainer can, can only focus on the f findings of downstream patches. The upstream ones will be skipped. And an example of this is with the core utils package. You can see the list of findings, and these are, these are only the findings from the patches. And I believe most of them are just false positives, but this is just an example. Uh, so one service I want to talk about is called Packet. So the core idea behind the Packet project was to make it easy to build RPMs. So it, it, was, it is targeted towards upstream developers. So upstream developers has a, let's say, source code, some tarball, uh, it gives it to the packet pro project, uh, the packet service. The packet service will generate a spec file for it, and then that will be easy. It will be easy to build an SRPM for the uh, uh, for the for the upstream developer. But these days, it can do much more than that. It can do tests through testing form and also SAS scan through Open Scan Hub. So how to do a how to do a scan through packet project? So the command is packet scan in OSH. So when you run this command, an SRPM will be built from your local sources, and it will be a scan will be submitted to the uh, to the Open Scan Up service. And if you want to do a differential scan, you can specify the base SRPM, and then it will do a differential scan. But ideally, all this uh, all this scan should be done automatically. So what we have done now recently is that we have integrated. Uh, we have done some automation from the service side. So what hap happens is, on each pull request, a differential scan is performed. Uh, a differential scan is performed against the target branch. So imagine you on GitHub, you have the main branch. Uh, somebody opens a pull request, and then a differential scan will be initiated uh, with the pull request and the main branch, and the results look something like this. So if you are using packet, you will see something like this. Uh, it's one of the new checks that, that is added, added recently. And a scan was submitted. The UI is very basic right now. Uh, we are planning to improve it. But 
you will see more improve, improvements in the near future. We have some plans for it. But right now, you will just get a link to the to the open uh, to the link to the open scan hub service. And we are currently discussing this feature on GitHub. And you can join the discussion here on the packet project. And so what's the future? So we would like to give better visibility to findings by open source analysis. So we don't use any closed source analyzers uh, in the public version. We, we, we just use, use the open source analyzers. And we hope that if we give visibility to the analyzers, the results of the analyzers, we may get some attention and people may try to improve the, the tooling. And we hope to work with, uh, with the Serif committee to improve support for Serif. And currently, we don't scan Go, Python, or containers. Uh, so maybe, at least in midterm, we would like to build some tooling around scanning these, these technologies. Uh, so I'm close to end of this talk. And so where can you, can you find more details? So I gave a longer version of this talk at DevConf this year. It was done in June. And there's a video recording of the entire idea. It's a 30 minutes talk. So if you, if, you, if you want to know more details, you can watch that talk. And if you, if you want to read something about it, like open scan of, uh, when we made the project open source, I made a blog post, introductory blog post about it. The first one is the introductory blog post. The second one talks about the integration with Fedora and Packet. And the third one is the blog post from the packet team when they announced the integration with the open scan up. And this is the home page of the project. And you can find more details there. That's all. Thank you. So thank you for working this on the cells. We use it a lot. Um, the, I've got a question regarding running this as part of RPM inspect. So this is something we can put into gating YAML, into the Fedora diskit repository so that it runs as part of Bodhi or something like that. Comment, do you want to answer that? I mean, I n never use R RPM to link with. So I mean, Kamil is the lead I for open scan. This is exactly what the packet is for. It automates uh, the CI of upstream projects, but creating the spec file and source RPM packages out of it and running the builds and the tests and, for example, open scan hub. Not really, because we, we don't want to use packet at this stage. Uh, so we use, we use uh, Bodhi or the downstream tools, and those, especially downstream, the tools run very late. But if you have a way to activate this we are RPM inspect, which is also running as part of the Fedora builds, then we could do gating tests for Fedora. Yeah, packages. this is in integration for Fedora packages that, that are already in Fedora this Git. But Packet goes even more left. Yeah, but and it automates it for upstream. Sorry. <laughs> the, the problem is that when you release a new version of GCC and it goes to Fedora, it's usually already too late, and you need you, you will get a lot no, of we, findings. We wouldn't release it if it's part of gating. Sure, but uh, how frequently are, are the projects released? We do weekly rebases. So it's weekly, and uh, the weekly rebase contains a lot of changes. So if you uh, scan Only each single merge request or each, each single patch set, then you get the feedback much uh, sooner. Not necessarily depend. I mean, we can take it offline. I would really put something but in. Open scan up is uh, more or less ready for this, but it is not its job to trigger the scans. It is just a server. Uh, it is just a service yeah, that listens uh, for the scan requests. We need and something into getting them also the RPM, uh, RPM inspect triggers it. But we can talk to our QE team. Maybe they can script something for us and then make it available for Fedora as a whole. I apologize. We are 20 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> we can discuss. <laughs>